Oh, you ain't played this yet? <laughs> you getting this throwback again today. What up, YouTube? Resolve back on the clock, supplying you with another throwback back off in my time machine that I speak so dearly of. Um, I have a special treat for you guys today, uh, at least I thought it was, a game that I've never heard of before until like a few weeks ago when I was doing my research. And I just want to give you guys some info on the game before I actually show you some gameplay footage. The game is called Quarterback Attack with Mike Ditka. Now this game was made back in 1996 for the, uh, or released in 1996 for the Sega Saturn. Uh, I went on eBay and bought this game for like six, seven, eight dollars. Uh, like I said, I wanted to play this game for myself to see how it was. It just it looked very interesting because it's not like any other football game that we play. Pretty much the the uh, the other players beside you are rendered in like a full motion video. Uh, so pretty much you're the quarterback, the general of the field. And um, in the gameplay, I'm going to explain uh, a little further on how this game actually works. So like I said, the game was released on Sega Saturn back in 1996. Um, uh, Mike Dick is the head coach of your team or the main protagonist, however you want to put it, while, I, well, like I said, the defense is rendered in a full motion video. The game was actually developed on like a $2 million budget and uh, also the, like the footage was filmed over like two weeks time. So, let me see. So I have, like I said, quarterback attack. The game really didn't really didn't get that too good of a grade or, or too good of a, a review but like I said it's very interesting um, and we're going to get further into the gameplay so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about okay so in the intro of this game uh, you and your team is in the locker room before the game uh, you actually get the start because your starting QB is actually hurt uh, so this intro is made for you to pretty much get hyped for the game only problem is the acting is pretty bad and the team is like overly hyped. So it's actually pretty funny. Um, so, man, it's, it's pretty short. Sit back and enjoy it. Okay, Rook, there you get your shot. Never hears that with a busted shoulder. Welcome to the jungle, kid. Break a leg, kid. Listen, kid, remember to read those defenses carefully. We want to rack up a lot of points today. Go get them! <laughs> oh, fuck. Too hot in the pocket. Scramble out of there, you got me? Hey, babyface. The magazine here says you got the best passing game in town. I hope they're right. Come on, veteran. The kid's got a job to do. Again, remember, keep him off balance with a run. Hey, are you ready to prove? What a number one draft pick can do? Outstanding, rookie! <laughs> oh, whoa. Okay, baby. We fought for our place at the table. Now, it's time to eat. <laughs> 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 oh, God damn. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's just, uh, it's a little out of control, but. As a first time play this game, this actually does get you pretty hype. Um, the graphics aren't that great. As you can see they're, they're low quality, um, but it was released back in 1996. But I thought for a Sega Saturn, it would have been a little better. But, you know, like I said, it's an interesting game. It's a different game, so I have no problem accepting this. As you can see, you're, you're in the huddle getting hype. All right, so pretty much after that, it takes you to the main screen where you can pick your skill level. Uh, the lowest is junior and the highest is pro. We're going to be playing on junior just, just so I can have some type of success. You have the game length, your options. Uh, I actually want to show you guys the controls so you can get a feel of the game. Uh, once again, you're the quarterback and only the quarterback. So your top buttons control your snap um, to pass the ball and actually scramble. You have dodge right dodge left slide um xyz controls the receiver so um pressing the x button will focus only on your x receiver sort of and it's sort of like how backbreaker is um y button will focus on your y receiver the a and c button or the a b and c button 
Uh, I, I'm not sure what they do. It says fullback, pocket view, and halfback, but I haven't experienced it in the game yet, so I'm not too sure of how it works. But let's go ahead and get to the kickoff. Um, you also have your high scores too, but I don't really care about that. All right. Go ahead and start this game. So, once again, motion video. Have no control over what the hell goes on on the field. I'm about to get hit right now, yeah. So, you see a lot of the same animations or the same videos uh, play out. Okay, so here is your play screen. In the top left corner, you have your game time and your quarters. Uh, you have a choice of picking run, pass, punt, field goal, or no huddle. You also have your timeouts, your stats, your options, and your uh, audibles that you can assign. Your bottom left-hand corner is your positioning on your field. Bottom right hand is showing you what play that you have currently picked. And then at, everything at the bottom is pretty much self-explanatory. Play clock score, what down you're on. So, we're going to go ahead and... Um, when you go into the actual run playbook, you have you can go in the backfield to show all of your run plays, which you only have like ten of them, which isn't a lot. Um, so let's. You can also pick your your snap your snap count. So I usually pick one or two uh, because your uh, offensive line tends to have that jump or that false start a lot. I rarely do three, and I haven't even tried to do four yet. So. That's the run playbook. The pass playbook, you have a lot more variety of plays. So you're going to pick receivers. And you have like your long plays, short plays, all deep post combinations. They got a lot of different plays in here. Okay. Let me see. I haven't done backfield. Okay. So then this also controls... Uh, what you want your backfield to do. So you can have them stay in the block. You can have them actually run out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and run this time for a first down. I'm going to go ahead and run this off tackle. All right. So as you walk up to the line of scrimmage, you can actually try to read the defense. Um uh, you can read the defense to a certain extent. Like I said, half of this game is by luck anyway. Um, looks like they're not crowding the line of scrimmage. So we're going to go ahead and run this play. And see what happens. Okay. So second and seven. Okay. So this time I'm actually past the ball just to give you guys a little insight on this. So. We'll run a short combination. Let's see. Okay, we're also going to do it on one. Okay, so when you hike the ball, you're going to see a green cursor pop up on the screen. This actually allows you to lead your receiver. I don't know how much that actually plays in effect um, because I've seen them knock the pass down still even when the receiver's in front. So looks like I'm going to go ahead and hike this. There we go. Okay. So it does feel pretty good when you see a positive play or a big game. First down. All right. So we're going to go ahead and run this ball again. Let's see. You can get hit in the backfield. I'm going to go ahead and run this draw. So once again, it's on one. So I'm going to go ahead and audible into something else. Okay. There we go. Okay. Try to hit him as he turned around, like I said. <laughs> You got Mike Dicker before. So we're going to try to, you know, we're going to actually try to run this ball. So it's a little different. Like I said, it feels, it feels pretty good at first. But then, like I said, it just gets kind of repetitive. Let 
We're gonna run this on two. It's cause we've been running on one the whole time. Looks like they're stepping back. Go ahead. The halfback stay in the block. Okay. So, like I said, you can read the defense to a certain extent, but it doesn't mean you're going to be successful. Looks like he's got a lot of people back there. Okay. There we go. There we go. He was actually open to my surprise. And I actually can't believe I had that much time to actually look at my third receiver. He usually sacked by the end. So let's go ahead and run this play. Shoot. It's on two. We might fuck around and jump. Damn. We can't run the ball at all. We're going to try to run it again, though. Actually, accidentally changed the play again. All right, so let's try this. Got him. Yes. And I actually scored a touchdown. What the fuck? <laughs> so, like I said, this game was a little different, but. As you can see, you can get some type of enjoyment out of it. The ratings for this game were not great, but it's my first time playing it, and I've been having sort of a good time playing it. But there's nothing really. There's like there's no franchise mode or anything like that. So once you play it one time, I eh, guess you can try to beat your, your first high score. But other than that, there's not a lot of replay value to it. Damn. <laughs> so tell me what you think, man. Okay. Look at that bullshit. You see the first string QB look at him like, what the hell? All right. So tell me what you think, man. If you enjoyed the game, let me know. If you think the game is, is fucking stupid, maybe they can put some type of concept like this into one of the newer games. Who knows? Shibo Resolve, man. I got mine. What's yours? Yeah.